Okay, everybody, assuming you saw part A, let's go ahead and get to part B, Goldberg. He shouldn't be let out. That's how I feel about it. Beware the angry white man, white man, white man. Beware the angry white man. Please have your gun in hand. Listen, they already said he planned this out five years prior. So, if he's released, how do we know he hasn't been planning some other crimes once he get out? He's been in prison for, what, over 20 years? 45 years sentence he served half, he needs to serve the rest. Because that woman, she doesn't, she doesn't get to be deceased for half and then come back. No, that's forever. He should be in there. It shouldn't be, will he serve half the sentence? No, he should stay in there. I don't care about him being, oh, he has a job as a paralegal. So what? She had a job too, but he ended that. Oh, he's writing books on Amazon. Gee, I doubt the deceased can write some books. And if anything, I hope they sue him. For wrongful death. People are who they are. It's not somebody having a bad day. Again, they're saying he, 19-year-old college student, he planned this five years, wrote it down. And it's stuff like that. People know him. Well, a person just writing, they're just angry, wrote, wrote, wrote it down. And now it became a reality. Now she's gone. Slit her throat. And then the two business owners, they were stabbed, but they survived. I cannot think of any rational reason why to let him out. He should stay in there. And if he and if he does get out, if something does happen, more than likely it'll be an innocent victim, an innocent person. It won't be the parole board that let him out. No, those people, they'll be safe. Some people are just evil and diabolical. And I don't give a don't. Well, you know that this happened. You know, that right there, he got a right to his life. Tell the woman on the screen that. I guess she'll be visiting the cemetery. He took a life that he had no right. He took something that he didn't have a right to take. They should let him out. We have, in my opinion, we have seen so many videos where they just arrest the fool, some idiot, on, oh, attempted murder, robbery. Let him out. Back in again, what's up? Oh, this time, so last time it was attempted murder, so now, so you let him out. Now somebody is dead. We've seen it how many times? Over and over again. So I don't care about him being a paralegal, writing books. He's obviously been able to still uh, have him a life behind bars. The lady on the screen right now, she doesn't have that option. He does. He's still breathing. The family, they can go see him and talk to him. He's the, he's the author now. He's the bookseller. He's the paralegal. Oh, so you still have a life. She doesn't. And who got it all going? He did. So him serving half his sentence? That's not enough. He needs to he needs to give what he took. He needs to get what he got. He took a life. He doesn't deserve to be free. He took a life. He should get what he got. He should serve the entire time. Then don't be surprised. Oh, they let him out and gave him a chance. He's proven to be productive. This They said the fool planned it. And to me, he's nothing more than a homicidal demonic fool. They said that he planned it for five years, wrote it down, gee, and he executed. Letting him out and the woman's sisters have been fighting it. I would fear for their safety. How do you know they're, they're going to be safe? He might think, oh man, you know, they're opposed to my parole. He might have something written in, on his little pad and little silly. When I get out, I'm going to make sure I get these sisters. 
get the family members who wanted to keep me incarcerated because of the crime I committed, then it'll be round two. Well, you know, uh, five years ago, before they committed their crime, he wrote it out five years ago, and then he did kill somebody. He served half this time, and the parole let him out. Uh huh. Oh, then they found these notes in the prison library or in his cell saying he was going to go ahead and get the family members or get somebody else. And what happened? Oh, he did it again? That wouldn't surprise me at all. That wouldn't surprise me at all. What they need to do, if you saw the video yesterday about little Henry, don't start none, won't be none. They need to go ahead and throw little Henry in the, in the cell with him. They need to go ahead and put Lil Henry in that cell. Lil Henry know what to do. Anyway, this here, I, I just don't believe, you know, some people, you can't give them a second chance. He, he killed that woman. He's been convicted of it and stabbed the um, business owners. They survived. Again, he wrote it down. Five years and let you know he was staying true to his plan. Five years ago. That was on his mind, and he executed it, planned it, and he did it. Didn't have to. People doing what they want to do. So for the parole board, I hope they do not let him out. He should stay behind bars. That woman, he gave her, uh, he took her life, and he gave her family a life sentence. They have to live without their loved one. I have no sympathy for him. He can write a Scooby-Doo book. He should stay in there. Why? He has proven, in my opinion, people doing what they want to do. He has proven who he is, what he is. Yeah, and if you're so caring about him, well, guess what? Let him come stay with you. But people doing what they want to do. This was well without a cause. It didn't have to be. Dusty Dan, the Merkin man. I hope he stays in there. I don't see how he didn't get a life sentence. That's what I think he should have gotten. And based on the report, I think she said he hasn't really uh, copped to it, showed remorse. To me, that sounds like a cold-blooded killer. So what do you think he will do once he gets out? Would it be a, a what, good Boy Scout? He hasn't copped to it. He hasn't expressed uh, an apology or mercy. To me, that tells me a cold-blooded killer. People are who they are. They let If they let him out, do not be surprised if you will find a follow-up victim. Or he could commit a crime, and guess what? They, and not get caught. Like, those things don't happen. How many crimes have been, oh, this person was assaulted, was kidnapped, was murdered, unsolved? So let me know what you all think. I, I don't care about him serving half. Guess what? He should serve the full sentence. He took a full life. As Nilly Fuller said, stand behind your work. Stand behind your work. He took a woman's life. That's what he's been convicted of. And tried the other two, I'm assuming, but they survived. So why should he just be welcomed into the arms of society to be all free and do what he wants? We've already seen, based on a report, we've seen what he wants to do, and that's to hurt and, and murder others. Why? Again, people are doing what they want to do. So I hope they don't let him out. He should stay in there. That woman's death was permanent. It's not temporary. She doesn't get to come back and say, okay, well, now you can live half a life. No, it's over. It's done. And the family has to live with that pain. It is not, in my opinion, it's not fair for them, him to have his old Dusty Dan, uh, the stabbing, slash the throat man out. Mm -mm. If it were up to me, I would have no problem giving him the chair, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.